So the platform architecture, if I talk about 9508, so it has a eight line cards, right? It has a two supervisor engines, right? It has a 10 power supply, right? And so it is a front view, right? If I talk about the rear view, this is a fan. Right, this is the fabric module. So the so in the Nexus 7K we have a six fabric uh, five fabric module. Here we have a six fabric module. So there are six in numbers, right? And this is called as redundant system controller cards. Right. So you have a dedicated line card, supervisor engine, two power supply. You have a total number, you can do a 10, but I will let you know what is the, and a six fabric module, three fan tray, and a system controller. So these are the component which makes a, a Nexus 9500 a modular chassis. And this power supply, you can configure it N plus one redundancy, N plus N redundancy, like that, We uh, what we learned in the Nexus 7K. Go through it. In the 7K and 5K architecture, we were using a 7K as a core layer and 5K as the aggregation layer or distributed layer. Yeah. Yeah. Here, in 9000 9, series, uh, both 9000 itself will be performing uh, one is core layer, another one is uh, uh, distribution layer. Distribution layer. So for yeah. completely will be of uh, 9000 series only. We cannot mix yes. and. Uh, no, 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 no. See what what uh, what is the architecture? You know, uh, I I uh, the architecture. If if I talk about ACI because Nexus 9K is basically you know uh, you know used in ACI mode. Right, and the in the ACI mode, what happens? You have a spine engine, spine switch, right? So it it can be Nexus. 8 or 9, 9 5, 0, uh, 16 or 9504 model right and here you have a leaf in switches and the leaf switches can be of 95k or 93k right right and these leaf switches are connected to your spines and this is of you know 40 gig so this is you know it, it doesn't have a anything you need to configure it is a simply a backbone backbone of your network right and this is and the nexus and this is what we call it we call it spine right and we call it it is a leaf leaf this leaf is a distribution layer switch so and how to configure the routing switching for the routing and switching you have a epic server it is just a ucs series server cisco product provide it and and you put a connectivity like this one right you have a gui once you do the basic configuration you will be opening a gui on, on your laptop and through the laptop you will be configuring all your routing switching you know layer 2 port channel v, uh, wheel and everything it will push here so you don't need to you know log into the nexus 5k or a leaf switch via configuration cli mode and you have to do everything right so it is a gui based so right and once all your policies will be configured and then here you will you can you know connect uh you know 5k 7k or 5k or 2k or something anything or a 37 50 anything and you provide the connectivity and from the down you know you can provide a connect a switch or uh, sorry your servers everything so all your servers traffic will go from here to nexus 5k leaf switch from the leaf switch because you have a backbone so it will go to the backbone right from the backbone it will return back and then your routing and switching will be performed if you have connected a van here so it will go to van if you have you know if, if you if you want to send anywhere inside the data center it will go inside that data center 
so in the aci mode you have a spine which act as a backbone you have a leaf switches leaf switches is just like a distribution switches now when 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 i talk about the spine switches the spine switches can be of 9504 modular switch 9508 modular switch 95016 modular switch so if we are using a nexus as a spine switch so the line card should be aci enabled right and and that line card should will have aci asc chip you know aci spine engine on that line cards here and if you are using a leaf switch then your line cards asic will be ale aci leaf engine so it will be using used as a uh, leaf and that will be used as a spine understood yeah yeah look now as i already said that you know it doesn't have a mid plane mid planes means there is something like that right so from front end you connect the line card from the back end you connect the fiber uh, you know fabric module it will be adjusted like same way right so the mid plane is designed for power and cooling efficiency designed for the reliability designed for the future scale future scale means if it is upgraded if you have a 40 gig line card and if you want to connect your you want to replace your 40 gig line card to 100 gig line card you can easily do so just you know replace 40 gig line card connect the 100 gig line card it will be adjusted in the back end right so it has no pre designed back plane it is simply it can be simply upgraded so you can see that there is no simply back plane it is just like a empty module you can see from front end to back end both side it is visible so from the front you insert the line cards from the back you insert the your fan tray and the fabric module it will be adjusted like anywhere there are two types of supervisor modules supervisor a and supervisor b right so if i specifically talk about the supervisor module so you know so it has a processor you know 1.8 gig and four core system memory it has 16 gb it can be upgraded up to 48 gb it has one serial port it has a one management port it has two usb upgrade and it has ssd storage 64 gb so this is how your supervisor looks it's very small in size right so if if i talk about the models of the supervisor you have a supervisor a and supervisor b right supervisor a has a four core and four 1.8 gigahertz it has a 6 core it has 2.2 gigahertz right it is having 16 gb memory it has a 24 gb memory it has a you know ssd storage 64 gb it has a ssd storage 256 gb so uh, but if i talk about the nexus 7k what we have we have a dual core we have a one you know core and we have a two quad core in soup 1 and in soup 2 and in soup 2e right here we have 8 gb here we have 20 12 gb here we have 32 gb but see here we have 16 gb memory 24 gb memory and ssd storage 64 gb and 256 gb so if you compare this your nexus 9k is much more having memory capacity and you have a 4 core and 6 core right supervisor cpu so th these are the two supervisor modules we talk about in nexus uh 9500 now uh, see the why does the supervisor engines are used or a cpu are used right so cpu are used you know to handle your management traffic your protocol traffic your you know uh, all other traffics snmp tacx uh, you know routing protocol traffic switching protocol traffic everything not every data traffic go to the cpu why because your all the your the layer 2 forwarding engine and layer 3 forwarding engine are just copied to locally to your line cards so if if, if every traffic comes to the line cards it takes it has a locally layer 2 and layer 3 routing and switching in, you know engine it 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 verifies its routing and switching part and it, it forwards the traffic so not every traffic you know go to the supervisor module but in nexus 9k what the system has designed that even though 
your management traffic your routing protocol traffic switching traffic like bpdu snmp tecx and ntp traffic all 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 these traffic go to the supervisor but in the nexus 9k it has designed in a such a way that that the idea of nexus 9k was you know to reduce the cpu offload so they produces the another you know uh, module we call as a system controller module right so system controller module is another module which is inserted in a back side of the your chassis what is does you know see here when a packet is not processed by the line card it is sent to the fabric module and a cpu for processing which can sometimes cause bottleneck for offloading work right these are the similar as supervisor with half width all the management packet which were earlier sent to cpu is sent to system controller right so earlier what is used to do uh, we used to happen earlier all the management traffic were sent to the supervisor or a cpu for processing but what nexus 9k did nexus 9k brought a system controller module and what is and what it does it takes all the management traffic which were earlier sent to cpu for processing now the system controller module will process it so it offloaded the cpu you know burden so uh, what type of traffic it you know uh, offload it provides the traffic traffic sent to cpu for system controller it also provides the you know eobc for control plane communication device management right so eobc means ethernet out of band channel right and what does it it helps you know all the device management traffic which which was also sent to the cpu earlier now it will handle right and it has also provision for epc epc means ethernet protocol channel switch so all the protocol related packets will all it will also handle so what if, so it it can handle management traffic right it can handle device management traffic and it can it handles protocol packet also earlier these all traffic were sent to cpu but now in the place of cpu this system controller handles it so it offloaded the cpu working so now your cpu will be more free than it used to be and it can you know process more packet it can you know provide more powerful support to your device so this helps lot of offloading cpu cycle to the system controller which helps to achieve high system performance so you have reduced your cpu working and you have offloaded it to system controller and what type of type traffic you have offloaded management traffic device management traffic and protocol traffic these all traffic will be now sent to system controller and your cpu will be free and with and through which you can achieve a high system processing understood write it down if you want nexus power supply 9500 in the nexus 9500 we have a power supply which looks like this one it has a each power supply will have a 3000 watt in ac supply right and it provides a 90 up to 92% of efficiency right it has a 92% efficiency right it can provide you know you can you can uh, uh, how the uh, ps configuration you can do you can go for minimum one power supply two power supply for fully loaded chassis and plus one redundancy and plus one grid redundancy right so you have a total of 10 power supply slots in your chassis right out of 10 power supply minimum 2 is required right to start your chassis and 4 is max you can use 4 right but you have a slot of 10 chess you know power supply chess uh, slots you can insert 10 power supply no problem on that and the nexus 9500 can support only a ac power supply dc power supply is still under development and the max capacity of power supply is 10 to accommodate it full powerful 
future powerful line cards so in the future maybe cisco has a plan to introduce a more powerful line card so it has given a provision to have a 10 you know uh, power supply slots so that if if you if you use that powerful line cards then you sh your your uh, your system needs some more power supply so you can use four you know 10 power supply but to start with the fully loaded chassis you need minimum two power supply to start with right if i talk a fan tray fan tray you know this looks like a fan tray it is used uh, in the nexus 9500 there is a three dual fan tray right and it it's a dynamic speed control driven by temperature sensors it has a sensors on it so as soon as your uh, your system got hit up the 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 speed of the fan tray goes increasing and likewise it goes down right you have an n plus one redundant redundant fan tray you can configure for that and the fabric module which we talk about in the nexus 90 9700 the fabric module is called as a backplane so it in the nexus 7k we used to have a five fabric module but in the nexus 9k we have a six fabric module and it also has but see the difference is between nexus 9k and 7k fabric module that nexus 7k module doesn't have any cpu but in the nexus 9k fabric module you have a cpu of a quad core cpu of 1.3 gigahertz why it also you know reduce the supervisor offload so there may be some traffic you know which, which which is sent to the fabric module and that needs to be processed which to, uh, so the cisco has also provided a small cpu of 1.3 gigahertz in the fabric modules also so to reduce much more you know uh, supervisor offload so the supervisor offloading can be done via system controller which we talked earlier and the fabric module which also has a cpu so it doesn't you know have a much capability but yes it can you know uh, reduce some of the cpu offload right the fan tray if i talk about the fan tray the fat fan tray as uh, this is this is your fan tray right so the fan tray are installed after the fabric module to service the fan, uh, fabric module first what we will do you will remove the fan tray first you will remove the fan tray and then you will take out the fabric module and then you will replace it and then you have to insert it so if one fan tray is removed the other two fan tray will speed up to 100 percent to compensate for loss of cooling power the temperature sensors in the chassis will be shut down components once max temperature is reached so it has a sensor installed in the uh, in the fan tray and if one if you remove one of the fan tray then other two fan tray will speed up to 100% to compensate for that one fan tray 